Can you believe it's been 20 years since American Pie hit theaters? So we're going to watch some of the most iconic scenes and see if they aged well. Yeah, and at the end, we're going to give them a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Yeah, see if this is a throwback movie or a throw out movie. Oh, oh this is incredible. Oh, oh. Oh. oh my God. I was a teenager when I first watched this movie. I remember just the the theater erupting with like, oh my gosh, laughter. In 1999, American Pie was an actual event. Like people yeah. were like, hey, are you going to see it this weekend? It's a movie, it's about pie, it's gonna have nudity. I will say this movie's depiction of band nerds is very accurate because band nerds are very horny and handsy. I gotta say, I think all teenagers though are horny, <laughs> yeah. to be fair. I was just kind of scared, like I was 10 years old and I'm like, boys are so gross and they're all gonna try to like hook up with me, ew. This is why I have trust issues, thanks American Pie. There's so many gross scenes in this movie, it's like the perfect sense of humor for a bunch of like middle schoolers yes. wanting to feel like they're grown ups. Yeah, totally. But it's like the most immature thing ever. I actually don't remember when I first saw this movie. I watch this movie actually way too often to, and I'm kind of embarrassed about it. But I do know that every time I'm still shocked, still shocked. I think it's pretty disgusting actually. American Pie is my Citizen Kane. <laughs> I love this movie. I remember thinking to myself, oh my God, I have to make a pact and lose my virginity at prom. <laughs> like, this is a thing. You were easily susceptible. <laughs> I was. All these teen shows were on too, like Dawson's Creek and Buffy and those kind of things. But like, this was like boobs. Like, this was a different level from those shows that were on TV. And so it was like, well, this is for me, so I have to go see this. Well, no, it was like, if you like Dawson's Creek, what if Dawson f***ed up yeah. <laughs> Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, no, Dawson, don't do it. Mom. Mom. Classic, iconic scene, Jason Biggs comes across mom's fresh baked apple pie and he gets the idea, right? Yeah. To maybe... Well, do it. Uh-oh, somebody is having some very sticky thoughts. Also, I feel like once you finger the pie, you should be good, right? Like, I feel like that's enough. Jason Biggs is so in the zone that he doesn't even realize there's... <laughs> The blinds are open, the curtains are <laughs> drawn. But he's still in the kitchen. Oh, yeah. Oh. But can we talk about oh. Eugene Levy? Because he is just, oh. he is the best Good. character in the movie. It's not what it looks like. Look at that, in his pale white butt. <laughs> well, we'll just tell your mother that, uh, that uh, we ate it all. Let's talk about Eugene Levy's line, we're just gonna tell her that we ate it all. <laughs> like, okay, yeah, someone ate it with their penis. Let's just say I stuck my penis in lots of things after <laughs> I saw that scene. Like, thank God he doesn't have siblings, because you know how mad I would be if I came home and I was like, ooh, mom, it smells like pie. Where the f is the pie? This is a home baked pie. This isn't, you didn't like go to the store and get this. Like. The mom or somebody made this and put time and love and effort into this and you put your dick in it. Like that is so offensive on every level. Jason Biggs can never order a dessert at a restaurant. Oh. Like ever. <laughs> I feel like that's just done for him for yeah. life. Because it's always like, don't you want an apple pie? It's Did so iconic. It's still so funny. I would I would watch this scene like over and over again. So I was really disappointed that uh, Tara Reid made him finish in a cup. I mean, come on. You want to leave a lasting first impression. I think you need to finish a different way. This is so disappointing. It's gonna happen. I, like, every time it makes me cringe. And I'm a grown ass female. <laughs> and it still makes me cringe. <laughs> oh no. That's not foam. Ugh. Ew. The grossest part about this scene is that he drank a random beer. Like, of course you don't know what's in there. Also, that belongs to somebody else. How dare you? It's gross, but I'm not grossed out by it. Since this movie, Fear Factor has happened, <laughs> yeah. so we've seen way grosser things. It's nice that it's a friend's jizz as opposed to a stranger jizz. Right? Is it? You think he had it coming? Oh! Ha! Yeah, it's like totally inappropriate that that happened, but good because everyone kind of like hates Stifler and he's like an asshole. Right. So like, we're like, yay. I'm thirsty, anyone else? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the scene we've all been waiting for. Come in. 
So Jason Biggs has the foreign exchange student coming over to, she's gonna change clothes in his room. And he's like, of course, I'm gonna videotape her and put her on the put it on the internet. So they come up with this plan. Okay, she's gonna get naked in your room, so let's set up a camera so we can all watch it. But way more goes down. Please, uh, you know, just go ahead and, and get on, get changed. <clears throat> I'll, uh, I'll go downstairs and I'll start studying up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, there he goes. Like, he just thinks she's changing her clothes. So he thinks he's getting a glimpse of, like, bra right. and underwear. Oh, 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 this is incredible. Oh, 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 oh my God. This Nadia is every high school boy's wet dream. You could not picture a more perfect woman. That's crazy. I hit puberty during the scene. That is not the body of a teenage girl, by the way. <laughs> like, that does not exist. Like, your boobs are not fully developed. You don't have curves like that. You're way more awkward. Oh. 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 Uh, let's also remember that this is her random classmate's bedroom. She yeah. hardly knows this guy. It's not even, like, her best friend. It's she's just like, they just met. Yes! Go over there and ask her if she needs an extra hand. Go yeah, he's like, go she ask her if she needs hand. an extra hand. <laughs> what happened to like knock on the door like, hey, how you doing in there? You've been in there super long. <sighs> so, somebody's going in there. Looks like you could use an extra hand. Jim. Well, uh, oh. Shame on you. She's like, I can't believe you caught me masturbating on your bed. It's not right that they're filming her without her permission. No. But it's also not right that she's basically masturbating on a stranger's <laughs> bed. <laughs> right. Move, James, move! Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Who oh. in their right mind is gonna get turned on by these moves? No, 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 no. This is so creepy that they're all watching it together. Also, his boxer shorts are like the hugest 1990s, like, <laughs> big boxer shorts. This is where Jason Biggs disappointed every teenage boy. I mean, what did you expect? There's so much build up to this. Everyone's so mad at him. <laughs> Everyone's so mad. So watching this as like a nine, 10 year old, you're like, oh my God, this is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. I'm gonna see some titties. <laughs> like she's super hot. And it like made average looking men feel like they can get super hot chicks, which I blame this movie why I'm so picky today. This yeah. scene would never happen. Someone recording someone, it would be like a, Dun, dun, dun. It like would a, have different music. Yeah, in the it background. would not be like a happy situation. It would be very tense. It's like super rapey. Yeah, definitely this would be a huge lawsuit. Oh, God, um, yes. And it's not that it doesn't happen anymore, but it's just that there's repercussions for it now. Mm -hmm. Also, um, she gets deported for this, and the <laughs> film glosses over. It's a, it, In the hallway, Jim casually mentions that she got kicked out of the country. Stifler's mom is waiting for Finch in the billiards room at her mansion. Stifler's having this big party and she's waiting for him. And it's Jennifer Coolidge looking as hot as ever. She's hot. I don't know, man. I, there's something about <laughs> She's just like, I'm going to this 18 year old high school student. Which this is, is like kind of creepy. I do just want to say that Jennifer Coolidge is a queen. I got some scotch. Single malt. Aged 18 years. That's the best line ever. I've got some scotch, aged 18 yeah, years. She's... So then as an audience member, you don't have to feel guilty about this. You're like, perfect. <laughs> Would you object if I said that you were quite striking? Mr. Finch. I love this. I love the oh. homage. Homage to the homage graduate. Music oh. playing in the background. And then the pool table. You're mm -hmm. like, that's what's going to happen. That's where they're gonna have sex. Yes. You're not supposed to have like liquids near that felt. Like you've got to keep that like nice and clean. <laughs> She's gonna rack his balls. <gasps> A plus Jennifer Coolidge. I love seeing Jennifer Coolidge anywhere she pops up. This is when the era of the MILF was born. Did this movie coin the term it MILF? It did. Mom, I'd like to f yeah. her, whoever doesn't already know that. Oh, this scene holds up, up, up. Did any of your friends have hot moms? I don't want to answer that. <laughs> uh, There's nothing wrong with wanting to f a mom, just you can't do it. Like What she should have said was, you know, I'm really flattered that you have a crush on me, and here's a plate of cookies, not here's my cookie, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes! This one time I banged camp! <laughs> oh, and this one time at band camp, I stuck a flute in my <laughs> Excuse me? <sighs> I know how to get myself. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's
freaking love her. I oh, love this scene is still funny. Allison Hannigan by far booked the best role in this movie. The nerd is surprisingly always the most talented in the bedroom, I the think. The quiet one. The quiet one. Michelle is the hero of this whole entire movie. Oh. She is a full feminist icon. I love her. It, the twist that she was using him for sex, brilliant. At she the is. end of the movie, you learn that Allison Hannigan is has all this sexual agency and is like, yeah, I picked you to go to prom because I knew you'd be easy. And yeah. it's like, whoa. She's aggressive. Yeah. Do you think it was a rented flute or do you think she owned it? She like owns her sexuality. She's all about it. And she's like ready to get it on after prom. She's yeah. like, are you gonna have sex with me? Because I'm bored. And Jason Biggs like doesn't know what to do with himself. Everyone that year signed up for band camp. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I am a fan of this movie. However, some of the themes suck nowadays, so I'll give it a half and half. I give it two thumbs up. It's super f***ed up, and I don't think a movie like this can ever be done again, but I'm glad it happened when it did, and I can cherish it forever. <laughs> two thumbs down? You said it's like the best movie of all time, <laughs> like a second ago. There's just like no point to it. Like it was fine then, but like there's no point for it now and in the future. I, I'll, I'll go for a split seas. <laughs> I give it a thumbs up. I enjoyed it. You know, I can't take it too seriously. It's a comedy. I do thumbs up. Thumbs up, two thumbs, thumbs up. Thumbs up. American Pie holds up. It's only been 20 years and most of these jokes are still funny. You don't watch it for the message. It's not, you know, it's for comedy. So for that sake, I say it's a throwback. I, uh, throwback. It's a, it's a gentleman's five. Yeah, this was like the ultimate teen movie, and I think it it still is. I think it's still great. I think teens should watch it because it's so funny. Nadia forever in my heart. Yeah.